biodiversity is such an essential part of nature, of, of every ecosystem. And we are just one piece of this big web of living things and everything we do is gonna affect that. So there's several industries that look at resources in our oceans, whether it's fisheries or offshore energy. And having this information is critical in order to know that what you're doing is sustainable. So that's what we're here to do. We're focused on getting people the best biodiversity data they can get. And we're using a new technology to do that. Uh, so instead of a conventional method where you would go in and uh, survey what lives there by trapping or catching what you want to study, we go in and we sample the environments that they live in, so things like sediment or water, and look for traces of DNA that are left behind by everything that is there. It lets us study everything in an ecosystem from the same sample. All of these samples, we call them environmental samples. We bring these to the lab, uh, mix them with some chemicals to free the DNA and purify it. And then we read it through certain equipment called sequencers. And there is a lot of lab work and bioinformatics that goes behind the scenes to get this answer, but basically that's what we do. Biodiversity or nature is, is such an integral part of the ecosystems and all the services and resources that we get from them. So in order to properly measure it, you want to know everything that's living there and what's going on. You can study not just those easy to capture, easy to see species, but all sorts of bacteria, fungi, uh, small planktons, things that you would find a lot harder to measure with those uh, conventional approaches, all captured at the same time. And we can go back more frequently because it's automatable, it's scalable and uh, that just lets us have more data to make decisions on and to better understand the biodiversity that is going to be impacted by potential work. The ideal customer for us is somebody who has a biodiversity goal in mind or they have a regulatory requirement and then we work together with them to implement a DNA-based monitoring solution that's going to suit them best. We have a really cooperative environment so Everybody is contributing to solve these complex problems. We have people that studied ecology or environmental science, molecular biology or genomics, cell biology, and biochemistry working in the laboratory. In the bioinformatics, you'll get people who've either studied bioinformatics specifically or have a statistical analysis background, maybe some computer science as well. So we want people that have like a lot of curiosity and drive. We pull people from all sorts of backgrounds. It doesn't necessarily have to be precisely what we're doing, but it's really those soft skills that we're looking for to know that they'll fit in with the team.